fresh out the oven. What is cracking, everybody? It's Mega Pie Man here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. No longer is this a dev build. This is the fully released on Steam. Buy it for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Developed by Terrible Posture Games, Tower of Guns. It is out. It is amazing. It's been a long trek. That I've been following these guys, and I am glad to say that the game it has finally been released. And congratulations, Joe, for making this entire game basically by yourself. You've done it. You have built a game all by yourself outside of the music, because I know your brother did the music, and released it on the Steam. It's amazing. It's got to be an amazing feeling. Now, I was talking to Joe a little bit back and forth on Twitter the other day, and he kind of alluded to the fact that this game may have hats in it. And it may have hats, it may not have hats. But his thing was that 3,000 runs and there may or may not be a hat that I can unlock. Now, hats, if you don't know, there are the building blocks of video game society. They are what we all strive toward. They are what we all live to achieve just to be able to have hats. So, I can't have the chance that this game does have hats in it at the end of 3,000 runs and miss out on that. I just, I, I can't take the chance. That, I mean, there's a good chance that they're not there, but just, you cannot take the chance that they are, and I just cannot unlock them. So, we're going to try 3,000 runs at Tower of Guns, and I'm going to record all of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, but we're going to, we're going to give it a shot, and, and hopefully... Uh, but before those 3,000 runs end, I will actually be able to beat this game, because I was not able to beat it uh, previously in, in the dev build. So let's see what we got here. Brand spanking new. Brand new file. Everything is locked, so I gotta unlock everything legit. It's gonna be a complete 100% legit run for the hat. It's gonna be a marathon. A hatathon, if you will. I actually may name that the series. I'm not sure I'm going to name the series, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So let's dive into the depths of the Tower of Guns. I'm so glad this game's finally out. It, it, is, it is about time. It is about time that it's not only out, but it's also on Steam, man. It's ridiculous. Just playing this game the other day, it felt like it was the first build of it, back when I was working with Pixabyte, so... Well, let's move on, shall we? Hi, gamer! Thanks for buying Tower of Guns! Hello, strange game. Well, they still have that from the demo, huh? Do your best to not get killed. Ah, uh, Hugbots, they're harmless, but Joe's wife made them keep them in. They are pretty much harmless, but I've actually figured out that I believe it's concrete evidence now that killing Hugbots will make the game harder. Joe had alluded to it a little bit, but now I believe it is 100% full reality knowledge that by killing the Hugbots, the game's difficulty will actually slowly increase. So, let's try to not uh, 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 do that, shall we? I don't need anything any harder than it is. I haven't played Tower of Guns in a while since there was an embargo on the game when it was coming to Steam. I don't know if the, what all the embargo was aimed towards since i think it was for just the steam version and not the version that came up before the steam version because there was a virtual tower of guns that i didn't get a chance to do a video of it came out before the steam version came out i need to keep moving or i'm not going to be able to unlock egon's pride but it came out before the steam version came out i didn't get a chance to do a video on it but then when joe was saying that he would like there to be an embargo on the game until it fully releases which was march 4th i believe so I decided that I just I wasn't going to do any more Tower of Guns videos until the full game fully came out. I, I thought that I would that, that would be the best way to do that. Although I'm not sure if the embargo affected the entirety of Tower of Guns or it was just the Steam version. I didn't really play the Steam version much until they uh, it fully came out, just because I wanted to keep it fresh. I wanted to keep the Steam version a fresh, brand spanking new attempt at the Tower of the Guns. Let's see what balls we got going on in here. 
We've got Mama Spinbot. Oh, you are still here. It's nice to see that we still have you. Have you been changed at all in the full version? It doesn't seem to look like it. Although my weapon is level two, so I should do pretty good against good old Mama Spinbot. We've got grenades everywhere. I've already taken so much damage. It's going to be a huge pain in the buns to try to unlock, legitimately unlock the hand cannon. Because you have to get through a level without taking any damage to legitimately unlock that thing. Alright, where we got going on here? We got ourselves. Need to be a little bit quick. Need to be quick. Need to be quick to get Egon's pride. Pyroclastic centrifuge. I think that is the thing that puts all that fire around me. Not necessarily what I was looking for, but I think it'll do alright. I think it'll do alright. Come on, elevator, elevator, elevator. I need an elevator! We must unlock Egon's pride. Egon has a lot of pride. And he needs something to uh, to show that pride off. He, he needs people to know that he has that pride. So so he's got a weapon called Egon's pride. It's it's his living pride, the living embodiment of his pride. There is a badge over here, actually. Don't get stuck on the wall. This is the elevator. Congratulations, the first level. What is this? This is a uh, oh health. Nice. Did I unlock it? Yes, I unlocked Egon's pride. Good. I always want to like that early because the portable pizza thrower is like the best starting weapon and then Egon's Pride is pretty much the most consistent weapon from then on. The peas and carrots pistol was pretty garbage. I might end up using that for one of these runs just to use it. But what I'm really looking for is there are weapons that you can randomly find. This is the foundry. I know it's the foundry. I have still been unable to find any of those random weapons that you can pick up at the vendors. So I'm really, really looking forward to actually seeing those and finding those. Since if you get them, I don't know if they will fully unlock the weapon that you can start with. But I know it will allow you to carry two guns. The gun you originally started with plus the one that you found or bought at the vending machine. Either or. So it'll be pretty awesome. Oh, I love this music. I believe this soundtrack is also now available for sale. I don't know if there's a Steam bundle for the soundtrack, but you can buy the soundtrack off of Bandcamp for something like uh, I think it's seven. I want to say seven bucks. Soundtrack, it's pretty good. It, it's got some really good songs in it. I can't really say that it would necessarily be music that I would listen to outside of the game, since a lot of it is a bit repetitive, but it definitely does work and fit the title, so... That's the important thing. That's definitely the most important thing. So if you really like the music, you'll pick it up outside. I probably won't, just because I don't necessarily think the music is... Some of it is, but not all of it is, like, the kind of stuff you would listen to just, like, on your car radio. This song, though, this is pretty epic, the organ going in the background. I think the music got better as the game progressed as well. Some of the, the original tracks are a bit shallow, in my opinion. And then as the, the game progressed, such as this track, I believe it was a track that was added later. You know what, I'm going north. Oh, bullets! There's bullets! I found the bullets! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> okay. Well, that, that could have gone better. Hello. Hello, flying thing. Could you please go somewhere else that is not killing me? Centrifuge! Save me, centrifuge! I need health. That's, that's not health. Why didn't you die to the centrifuge? You were supposed to die to the centrifuge! I just saw some health, and it fell to its due. Oh, Do these go away? I just got hit by them. Lovely. I, what am I getting hit by? Was it the centrifuge that was hitting me? I'm going to die now. I am going to die on the foundry because of the freaking centrifuge. Lovely. There's no health over here. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, there's you. Hello. Hello, sir. Could you drop some health for me? No health. Some experience, though, so I guess it's better than nothing. Run! Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a big one. That's the big one. Looks like these guys seem to be a little bit stuck up there, so if I can get them to kill themselves and drop some health, this room might actually be pretty good, considering that as long as I stay out of the middle of the room, I won't get hit by those bullets. And... Okay. Let's play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe here. We're gonna just kill the guns and then move on. I think there's actually a story that was added in this as well, that you have to unlock the more you play the game, which would be nice to see, so a little bit of story. I don't think it's a voice actor or anything, but it, it is there. Someone drop a big old pile of health for me, please. I am begging you, my kingdom, for some health. 
there, there are, are oh, there's some health there. No, don't disappear. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't walk into that giant cannon. It is a massive gun. It is aiming at me, and I don't want to die. There are also a crap ton of more bosses in this version. There are a lot of bosses that I haven't seen yet. There are a lot of rooms I haven't seen yet, so... Oh, here we go. What do we got going on here? Oh, it's our good old friend, Lantern of Fullness. Lovely. It may be the full version of Tower of Guns, but we still have this guy. This guy. With his fire and his going to... Yeah, he killed me. <laughs> Oh, of course. I couldn't have beaten it the first try, could I? No. No. Made it to level two. Lovely. Well, that's what happens when you don't play Tower of Guns for a while. Seven minutes? Took me a good old seven minutes. Wow. Lovely. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for this first video of the Marathon to Hats for Tower of Guns. 3,000 runs, we got the first one down. It's down, it's out of the way. Next time when we come back, hopefully I'll be able to do a better job now that I've unlocked Egon's Pride. And we'll see if I can beat the game and get some hats. Because hats, they're, they're the lifeblood of the economy, man. They are. You can't deny that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I have a mega pie, man, and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>